Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video We're gonna be talking about 10 huge mistakes that most Red Dead Online players make that you need to avoid So my goal with this video is to hopefully just remind you of something that you might not be doing or Let you know about something that you didn't know you could be doing that you should in Red Dead Online Because there's a lot of little things that could make a big difference and that's what we're gonna be discussing in this video today. So anyways, let's jump into this and let's get it started. The first thing you need to remember to do is to upgrade your horse. Now, what am I talking about here? There's two things that you can upgrade with your horse, but it's slightly different from single player. Now, unlike single player, you only have the option to choose a saddle. However, in that saddle, you'll get different options that you can upgrade. Now, there's four things you need to look at here. Stamina core drain rate, health core drain rate, uh, stamina core uh, regen rate, and uh, stamina core drain rate. So those are the things you need to look for. And obviously, the better values you have, the more improved your horse is going to be. So pay attention to the saddles that you have. Upgrade all the options that you can. This will obviously depend on your rank. A lot of these are a little bit higher up than most. So I would say around maybe rank 30 or 40 or 50, you can probably start looking into this a little bit more. But don't forget about this because there aren't a ton of options for our horses yet in terms of wagons or carts or carriages. Most people don't go in here and check this out. So that's the first thing right there. Be sure to upgrade your horses. It's important, don't forget about it. The second thing is upgrade your weapons. I see a lot of people forgetting about this too where they don't necessarily upgrade their guns. And I can understand why a lot of the upgrades are expensive and that is a little bit unfortunate the way Rockstar still has their pricing in Red Dead Online for a lot of items. But upgrade your weapons. It will make a big difference when it comes to one-on-one -on -one battles and it could be the difference between you getting the kill and the opponent getting the kill. So just something to keep in mind right there. Now building off of that and speaking of weapons, one thing you want to avoid is having multiple of one type. So what I mean by this is having all three types of repeaters, you know, Carbine, Lancaster, and Litchfield. Uh, also having all four or five kinds of snipe rifles, Springfield, Bolt Action, uh, Rolling Block, Carcano. For the most part, your loadout is not going to consist of two of the same type of weapon. You're going to have like a repeater and a shotgun, or you're going to have a sniper and a bow or something like that. So you don't want to have two or more of the same type of weapon. In fact, the only one I would recommend having two of is the pistols because you can eventually dual wield those. So having two really good ones would be nice. But don't load up on multiple types of the same weapon because you're just going to be wasting one of your weapons because eventually you're not going to use the worst kind and you're not going to use two in the same loadout anyway. So just something to keep in mind right there that you don't want to double stack up on your weapons. Up next, something I see a lot in like other people's streams and gameplay, just in general, is they have a Deadeye core that is full red and they don't bother to actually replenish it. So unlike the other two cores of health and stamina, if your Deadeye is full red, it has a huge impact sort of passively on your aim your aim will become incredibly wobbly if you don't have a at least partially full Deadeye core. And that might be the reason why you're either missing a ton of shots or you're not connecting on a lot of shots. You need to make sure you at least have a little bit of your Deadeye core filled up. So things like cigars or bourbon or gin, these are all the things that will fill up your Deadeye core. Make sure you have a tiny supply of them on you at all times. Now sort of building off of that, our next tip today, don't buy provisions. I see a lot of people going to the general store and loading up on items like canned peaches and stuff like that. Do not do that. That is a waste of money. Take advantage of the free items in the game, whether that's the stew at Valentine or whether that's the pickled egg that you can find in the Valentine saloon or the almonds or heck, you could even go to Rhodes and if you go upstairs, there's, I think it's like bourbon and a cigar, which will completely fill up your dead eye right then and there. And if you don't want to do that, simply hunt, be resourceful, and just have cooked meats that you can use over and over and over again. Not only do those cooked meats fill up your core way more than like canned peaches, but it's also going to be, again, cheaper and free. 
And as we'll talk about in a little bit, it also has some cool side effects as well. The next tip I can give you is to not spend gold on items in which you haven't reached that specific rank yet. So using gold to buy an item that is either only gold or you've already reached the rank but don't have the money is perfectly fine because the gold is not that pricey. But for example, let's take this bison duster coat here. Not only is it unlocked at rank 92, but it can only be purchased with gold bars. So because I'm not rank 92, if I want one of these now, that's 40 gold bars. That is an insane amount of money. I think that's like $20 real life cash, like the equivalent. So Rockstar is basically punishing you by making you pay more gold bars because you aren't that rank yet. So. I know a lot of these items look amazingly cool, but simply don't buy them if you aren't the rank yet and spend gold on them. You are going to get ripped off tremendously just for one item, and I don't want to see you guys do that. So just be careful when you are buying items in game. That's something you want to keep in mind. Another thing you want to keep in mind, upgrade your ability cards. I've seen so many people that are level like 50, 60 that have not upgraded their ability cards once. And I get it. It's expensive. It's $350 for the first one and it only gets more expensive from there. But you really are going to be putting yourself at a huge disadvantage, especially against other players. So having these ability cards, number one, not only is very critical, but number two, you upgrade them and they become way better. I think the next one I'm gonna upgrade is my Deadeye card, but I haven't really decided which one I'm set on because I use it so infrequently, which I probably should use it a little bit more, so uh, that's the one I'm gonna figure out coming up next. Another thing you wanna do is make sure you reset your awards. So every like couple of days, you wanna go through all your different award categories to check to make sure if you have any awards that you can reset because resetting your awards will give you gold bars. Now, something you might not have known is you can reset them up to 10 times. So I actually found an award that I didn't even know that I could reset again. You can see I already reset it once and that is spend a cash in shops. So resetting that will allow me to earn all those XP bonuses for getting them again. So that is something you should do. Reset the awards because it will allow you to go through them once again. And by doing that, you'll get more XP and you'll have the chance to earn more gold bars at the end. Because if you don't reset them, it's not doing anything. You've already earned the buckle, so there's nothing to lose there. So go ahead and reset your awards and it's just a win-win overall. One thing I see a lot of players not paying attention to in Red Dead Online is their weight. It works the exact same way in single player and it does have its advantages and disadvantages to being underweight versus overweight. Now, because there's no like sleeping and saving in Red Dead Online, one way in which you can quickly gain weight is to eat cooked meat. So that is another benefit to hunting. It is the best way to gain weight to make sure you're not either overweight or underweight. So what you wanna do is cook meat, and then the only way to save or progress the game is to join a new session. So essentially what you wanna do is cook some meat, then eat it, and then leave, and then do the exact same thing. Now, one strategy would just be to cook a lot of meat, that way you don't have to cook meat every time you join in. So you just wanna eat, join new session, eat, join new session, and eventually you will not become underweight. Or if you're looking to drop down to a normal weight from being overweight, uh, eating these meats will be better than like candies and the chocolate bars that you could get from the stores. So just something to keep in mind right there, that there are pros and cons to being underweight, overweight, but being normal weight is the one you ultimately want. Tip number nine today, avoid going AFK. So this is a bad habit that I get into because I, I'm always multitasking when I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. So in single player, you know that no one's going to bother you. But in online, there's a chance that someone could come up to you and start griefing you and killing you over and over and over again. And although the game says it will kick you out, every like 13 minutes or so that you're um, idle or you don't move. Uh, I've noticed that if like gunshots happen near you, your character will move on their own and that will reset the timer. So not only will all your cores start to go down, there's a good chance you could be griefed by other players. And a lot of people like to go AFK in their camp and think they're safe. Not so fast, you can be pushed out of your camp. So if you are gonna go AFK, be sure you're sitting down at something. Don't like just stand there. Sit down at either the campfire or at the table and that will make sure you can safely 
AFK. And the final tip we're going to be looking at today is you've only got one shot at creating your character. So I've seen a lot of people so far make big mistakes with their characters, like make them look super ugly or goofy, and they don't like the changes they've made. And there's no way to edit the character in Red Dead Online. Now, sort of building off of that, when you're designing your character, you want to sort of research which items, like haircuts and beards, you can get, because some of them are only available in-game for gold bars. However, while you're creating your character, you obviously get them for free. So that's something to keep in mind as well, that some items that you can get while creating your character will eventually cost gold bars in game. Bottom line, just do your research and take your time while creating your character because as it stands right now, you've only got one shot at this and the only way to get another shot is to delete your character and start over. And I'm sure a lot of you guys don't wanna do that. But anyways, that right there is 10 huge mistakes that most Red Dead Online players make that you need to avoid. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you guys made any of these mistakes or did you learn something today that you have forgotten to do that you're going to do when you log on next to Red Dead Online? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.